this is just an average plant and if we zoom far 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 into this plant we start to see cells this is a cell a s these cells are yet to be discovered by scientists then one day in the lab this scientist gets curious about what makes up plants so he gets out his microscope and he looks far 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 into it and he sees a cell and this is what he sees This is the cell wall. It gives a protective structure for the plant cell. The organelle looks like a thin box-like layer around the cell. It touches with the cell membrane. If this organelle was no longer there, the plant cell would not keep its shape and it would be less protected. This is a chloroplast. This green, uh, splotch-like, uh, spherical thing. The organelle transfers energy from the sun to food for the plant. It looks spherical and is green. Chlorophyll is inside it which makes the plant green. It provides food to the cell and to the plant. The plant would die if the chloroplast did not exist because they would die of malnutrition. This is the endoplasmic reticulum. This, the organelle is important in the transporting chemicals from one part of the cell to another. It looks like a bunch of lines surrounding the nucleus. May have ribosomes sitting on it, which, in case, calls it the rough ER. If the ER did not exist, then the cell wouldn't have, have proteins and sequentially die. These are ribosomes, these purple round dots. They are always scattered throughout the cell, but in this picture, they're only shown in very few places. Ribosomes are responsible for all responsible for protein synthesis and there are many of them because the cell needs a lot of protein. Many they look like many scattered dots inside the cell like I said. And if the cell wall does not have protein it will die. It interacts with a lot of the other organelles because it interacts with all the other organelles because uh, the uh, organelles need protein to function. This is the nucleus. The nucleus directs all of the cell's activities. It looks like a golf ball. It conta the contains the nucleosis, nucleus. which helps with the nucleus's job. So, interacts with endoplasmic reticulum. If the nucleus did not exist, DNA would leak into the cytoplasm and disturb other organelles. This is the back door. The vacuole stores water, food, and waste. <coughs> it looks like a large blue oval bubble. <coughs> it stores things that were made inside the cell, so it interacts with the endoplasmic reticulum. If it did not exist, then the nutrients would be not stored and the plant would die of, you know, like malnutrition. This is the Golgi body. The Golgi body lets endo. Plasmic reticular products pass through it and sort of purify it. It looks like a bunch of curved lines stuck together. Three main parts of the cis Golgi, Golgi and the trans Golgi. If it did not exist, proteins would not be able to pass and the cell would die. The yellow part of the cell which surrounds just about everything is the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like fluid that keeps the organelles in place. It looks like a jelly-like fluid. It keeps all organelles in place so it interacts with all organelles. If it did not exist, organelles would just fall to the bottom of the cell. In this cell, the cell membrane is the thin black line over here. The cell membrane is like a final protective wrap around the cell. It, it looks like whatever the cell's shape is. It touches the cell wall. If it did not exist, things could not come into or out of the cell. So this is what he saw inside the cell. Far back into his microscope. He zoomed out again and tried to decide what he would use this information for. Medical technology and trying to contribute to make uh, cures for diseases. Now, now you know a lot about the cell. <laughs> now you can now you know a lot about the cell, so I hope you use this information wisely.